At point A, the particle has a speed 2 meter per second in the direction of B. That means this is the particle and this is B over here and it has a speed of 2 meter per second. And the particle is accelerating at 4 meter per second square. So this is also labeled in the same direction towards B. Similarly, the other particle which is at B and it has a speed of 3 meter per second in the direction of point A. So now the particle is traveling in this direction with a speed of 3 meter per second and the acceleration is 2 meter per second square in the same direction. Now keep in mind when we talk about using equations of motion we are always dealing with a constant acceleration scenario. So now we have this particle A, we have this particle B and they are 8 meters apart. That means distance covered by A plus distance covered by B should add up to the distance AB which is 8 meters. So let's get started with the working. For particle A we have u equals to 2, we have a given as 4, the unit of velocity is meter per second, the unit of acceleration is meter per second square, let the time be t seconds. So the displacement of a is given by ut plus half a t square, so therefore this is 2 multiplying with t plus half into 4 into t square. And now we need to simplify this. So therefore this is 2t and this becomes 2t square. That is the expression for displacement of A. Similarly, for the particle at B, the initial velocity is 3 meter per second and the acceleration is given as 2 meter per second square. The time is taken as t seconds. So therefore, we will write down the expression for displacement of B which is also ut plus half a t square but the value of u and a is different. So therefore this is 3 multiplying with t plus half into 2 into t square which simplifies to 3t plus t square. This is the equation, the expression for displacement of B.